good morning happy thanksgiving so i've been wanting to release this video for a while well i just uh, finished filming it and there are two parts to this video one is a salad that i actually eat every single day and i told my mom i was like you know what i actually want to bring a salad for thanksgiving so i mean how typical right me salad but it is actually a very 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 delicious light salad um and it is i guess a raw diet or i mean it does have a little bit of mayo in it so it's i guess not vegan but it is very very delicious and if you are vegan you can use veganaise so i have that as well but i did use um, light mayonnaise and um, I have a green bean casserole that I'm bringing for Thanksgiving dinner with my family and I'm also bringing um, a dessert which I was gonna make but instead I bought there are yeah there are two parts to the video the beginning is my um, salad and then I have the casserole and then yeah I'm gonna head out um, if you are actually last minute cooking this might be a video that you want to watch to cook for tonight so um, I'm putting this up before I head out to my parents but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I am so grateful for all of you guys for watching me and continuing to watch me for years. And a couple years ago, I actually did a Friendsgiving, which I plan to do next year. I know I couldn't do it this year because I had so much um, going on. But hopefully next year, I will have a Friendsgiving. And maybe I can do a Christmas party. But I'll be cooking for Christmas too. So thank you guys so much for following me on this journey. I appreciate you guys so much. And I love you guys so much. And yeah. Please um, thumbs up the video if you guys like these cooking videos and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing so many more cooking videos. I gotta head out. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy this video. You guys, excuse a little mess in the kitchen area, but I wanted to show you guys my fave, 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 favorite salad that I've been eating. And it's basically just organic red cabbage, organic green onions. I had the salt and pepper there just because I wanted it in the photo or the frame. And I just do light mayonnaise if you want to add sesame seeds you can i actually couldn't find it at the store so that's why it's not in there but you basically just cut it up and mix it together and it tastes so good i promise i eat this every day i'm going to show you guys in a little bit i'm actually washing my bowl that i used but i'm going to cut this up and then show you guys how i make it all right so so far i'm like halfway done because the salmon is not done and the salad is not done but i have the quinoa in here and the cooked shrimp and I'm gonna add the salmon over. I'm actually not steaming or cooking any vegetables. I mean, I do have some kale in the fridge, but I feel like what tastes really good was I actually had a lot of the salad and then I ate it with this. So that's actually my meal prep of the week. I'm probably gonna finish it like way early because there's only like six. So I'll probably end up meal prepping again at the beginning um, of the week, maybe like Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'll record that. But I just want to show you guys my meal and then I'll show you in a little bit when the salad is done. Well, my dishwasher is still running. I should not have done that. So I put everything in the bowl finally in the dishwasher, cleaned it. Um, and then it's just the uh, green onions um, cut and then the organic red cabbage, literally an entire head. And I just put that in and now I'm going to add a little bit of the mayonnaise that I get. I actually really don't ever have mayonnaise, but the one that I get is the light mayo. Um, I guess it's not vegan since we're using mayonnaise, but I do use a little bit because it does taste really good. And it does taste really good and that's how the salad is made. So I'm gonna add this in. So I'm gonna put that much in there and it mixes in a lot. So it kind of looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. And then you put a little bit of salt and pepper and we close the lid and you pretty much just shake it. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And that's literally it, and it's so healthy and so fresh. Like every day I feel like it's just a refreshing little salad that goes to my meal. So I've actually been doing this, and I guess it's more like part of a raw diet, if you know what I mean. But literally it's not even that much salt and pepper, a little bit of mayo, cabbage, and green onions. And then over here is gonna be my shrimp and quinoa. And over here is my salmon. Sorry, it's a little dirty, but I'm gonna put that in and my meal preps are done. So I hope you guys like this mini meal prep video at the end of this health fitness vlog. Um, I will be sure to show you guys more recipes and more ways to make food and stuff like that. Um, the quinoa I just made in the rice cooker and everything was just so easy and seriously so cheap. Like really, it was really not that much money that I spent on all this food and it gives me food for the next few days and it's super healthy. Refreshing and clean and 
keeps me going with my fitness lifestyle. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Mwah. Hey guys, actually Tavis and I are matching. So today we're gonna cook green bean casserole for Thanksgiving dinner at my family's house. Um, Tavis that cooks like literally every day. So I was like, you know what, can you please help me with this green bean casserole that I wanna do? And I was gonna make um, an apple pie too, being overly ambitious, but I decided not to do that. And I bought a pumpkin cheesecake, but currently we're creating the base of the green bean casserole and I'm actually at her house. Um, yeah, my kitchen, yeah, I mean, you guys know, I just cooked the, or made the cabbage salad and you guys know the situation with my kitchen and I don't have that much tools, <laughs> cooking tools. So I'm gonna learn how to do this and I'll probably make, make it again. So yeah, I look crazy. It's like so cold outside. It's like winter and dark and you know, today wasn't, too much of a crazy glam day. But um, the things that we got at Trader Joe's are these French onion pieces. Green beans are actually frozen from Trader Joe's. Mayo, wait, this is not for the casserole. This is actually for the cabbage salad, which um, I put before this video at the very beginning. And then um, almond milk, which is gonna be for the casserole. Washing mushrooms over here. I'm gonna put the onions in here. What's in there, regular oil? It's olive oil. Olive oil and the onions, and we're gonna start this casserole. She knows how to make it. I'm gonna make it with her, but is this healthy? Yeah, it's actually vegan. Vegan. I'm mixing it. Yes, this is the base, guys. Who likes green casserole? And then over here, she is doing the garlic. I've done that before. I actually did that for my turkey last two years ago. Dang, it is getting smaller and smaller. Look at the onions, the garlic smells so strong. I definitely cannot go to the club after this because I am gonna smell like onions and garlic. And over here is the mushroom. No, I cannot go to the club. Like to smell like a freaking onion. Onion girl. A garlic girl. Well, she actually smashed the garlic, so my fingers don't I smell like it. I feel like it smells goes away immediately. No, the hair, the, the hair will have the garlic Ugh. up in there. But anyway, so I'm the onion girl right now. You want me to do that? Let's just try it so I don't like. I'll do it. Am I doing it right? Yeah. These mushrooms are like thick. My parents are gonna appreciate every bite of this casserole. <laughs> I don't even know if Japanese people eat casserole. I think they do. I can start to put some in there. It was right though? Yeah. Yes. Good thing my nails are like short this time. You cut off this part, right? Mm-hmm. See, you're teaching me. I'm such a chef. So the, in this episode of cooking with Arika and friends, we have the cabbage salad, green bean casserole, and no dessert. Socks. Okay, so I didn't get this at Trader Joe's. Tabitha did, she already had it. So I guess we put a vegetable broth in the mix here. The mushrooms look so good. I literally could just eat the entire thing. Um, so this is like kosher. I can't read it, obviously. It's in like Hebrew. But it's, this wait, it's actually, chicken. This one's actually a chicken flavored one. But, okay, it's, but it's not actually chicken. It's parve, so it's non meat. It's, it's neutral. It's just supposed to have like chicken flavoring. Okay, well, whatever she says, but it's in there and it's going in there. Um, yeah, it's gonna taste good. Yeah, so you guys can get whatever uh, vegetable broth too if you wanna use that at home. I'm so excited. I just so use this, one because, I just so use this one because it's MSG free, it's preservative free, no cholesterol. Like it doesn't have any bad stuff in there for you. All right, cooking with Arika. All right, two tablespoons of flour in the mix. 
guys, so after the flour and the vegetable broth, how much did you put in, Tabitha? Um, of the vegetable broth, uh, well I made it on the side, I did two spoonfuls of it, of the consomme, and I put it in here with a little bit of water, and then I slowly put in as much as I need. So she knows, she doesn't measure, I kind of do it like that too, like it with says the you eye. It says three-fourths cup. Three-fourths of a cup in there, and that's what it looks like. Yes, milk. Almond milk, guys. One full cup. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. I'm trying to look like I know what I'm doing, guys. Yes. Oh my god, it smells like. You know what it smells like? Cream of mushroom. It smells good. It smells just like that soup. All right, guys. So we're gonna cook this for another five, ten minutes, and then we're gonna put everything together and put it in the oven. Yay! So I'm actually gonna cook everything tomorrow, but Tabitha's putting the green beans in here and wash them. And the rest will continue at the glam pad. But this is the sauce. And this is the green beans. And I will heat it tomorrow on 400 degrees. You'll see it. I will continue it tomorrow. But we are doing this right now. The night before Thanksgiving. All right. I've been lifting weights. Oh, so heavy. I love it. I made something. Good morning guys. I woke up a little bit later than usual, but we are gonna finish the green bean casserole. I am so excited to do this. So let's take it out of my fridge. It looks so good and it smells so good. So now we're gonna put these fried onions up in there. So let's do that. Mm, mm, it smells so good. So we're not gonna put all of it in. We're just gonna put some and mix it in and then bake it in the oven and then put more in later. So I actually have to Preheat the oven for 100, so let that heat itself, and let's mix that in. I had a bigger spoon, but you guys know I don't have that many cooking tools. I really should get my own a lot more, because I'm gonna start cooking a lot next year, and it's so funny, my New Year's resolution like three years ago was like cook a lot, cook a lot, and I just, I did really did start cooking, and now I'm like really cooking like almost every day. Okay, okay. It is at 400, so you put it in uncovered. Okay guys, putting it in the oven uncovered. 15 minutes, yes. Oh my god, my feet. Okay, so I put the little light in there. Oh my god, it looks so cute. Okay, so it's actually done. I'm gonna take it out, but I actually have to turn off the camera because I gotta use both hands. But that's what it looks like. It smells so good guys we are all done with the green bean casserole I hope you guys like this little cooking video if you guys want me to do more in-depth cooking videos um, I want to do more because I know I was only doing meal prep videos but obviously these are like more like intense or like crazier more detailed dishes so I want to do more I'm gonna I gotta cover that and go um, to my parents house change obviously out of these pajamas I'm actually wearing like See these Benefit sweatpants? How cute are they? Oh my gosh, I am a mess. But that's what happens when you cook. I do have a really cute apron I could wear. But if you guys want me to do cooking videos, it'll totally be a different vertical on my channel because it's just different, you know? It's different from the meal prep videos. But it is, I guess it'll be similar. But if you guys want me to do it, I totally want to start doing it because it's like a newfound hobby and a newfound passion of mine. So I want to do it. I definitely need to like clean up my kitchen more and like make it a little bit cutesier so you guys can like follow along with me. But thank you guys so much for watching this video sorry i'm rushing but i hope you guys have an amazing 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 thanksgiving and i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys soon bye Mwah.